What is up, Humanoid Nation? Let me tell you the story of the road trip that didn't go anywhere. Well, we went somewhere, but it didn't go anywhere. All right, so this vacation started. Hold on, gotta check the phone. September 7, we were planning me, my mom, my grandmother, and the family do I just realized, you can't see my hand. Fuck me. Okay, me, my mom, my grandmother, and the family dog decided to go to Jasper, which is outside of Edmonton, like a really good family vacation spot on September 7th to September 9th. We found a good rate for this hotel, motel, motel in this place, which was pretty cheap, but came to $110 for three people and a pet. So we thought, hey, it'd be awesome as fuck. Plus, I'm still kind of recuperating and I need this because I went for a surgery and all a couple weeks ago. You know the story. But anyway, so the day comes, Monday. Ugh. I'm not a morning person. I never will be a morning person. I don't know why. I'll, yeah, I'm just not a morning person. We had to wake, me and my mom had to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Good thing we had all our shit done the day before to put it in the car. So we had our breakfast. Took the dog. And let me tell you about my dog. You've seen him before in other YouTube videos. He's a cute little motherfucker. Thing is, I love the guy with all my heart. But he doesn't shut the fuck up. Let's just say, during the ride, he's okay. But he's like, I don't know what it is with his breed. Because apparently he was his breed, he's afraid of every little fucking thing. During the middle of the ride, he's good and calm and shit. Well, not calm, he's silent. He whimpers a little bit here and there. But once we get to the destination where we pick up my grandmother, because he knows, like, 20 seconds before we arrive to our destination, he starts barking his ass off because he's nervous as a motherfucker. Ah, uh, like I said, I love my dog. He's cool and all, but I, he can be quite annoying at times, so I have to take him out. My mom goes and picks up my grandmother who has stuff with her because like I can't carry because my left arm is left damn it camera left arm is kind of disabled a little bit because like like I said surgery can't lift anything heavy so yeah she goes upstairs to the apartment to get her we come she comes down and off we go on our merry way takes about three hours to get to Jasper the dog is in the car silent stuff I'm trying to get some sleep then we go for a bathroom break. We find up going to tomorrow. Let me tell you this one thing, though. No. Every time we make a stop, a full-on stop, you know, part, not like at a traffic light, because that would be more annoying. I would have done something. Like, I would have gone crazy. Every time we make, a, like, a pit stop somewhere, my dog has to bark his ass off all the fucking time. So each time we have to make a stop, you all hear is like, bark, 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 bark. And it can be quite annoying. But like I said, I love my dog. <laughs> uh. So anyway, we stop at Tim Hortons. My grandmother, I love her too. I love her to death. But she's 95 years old? 92? 93? No, 87. I'm way off. She's 87. She's old school Chilean. Her peripheral vision is shot, is all I'm going to say, because, like, she focuses on one simple thing. Boom, that way. She doesn't see anything behind her. It's like, shit can go by, like, people can, like, drive by. She doesn't notice. She goes, like, what? What just happened? So we're telling her, like, Grandma, go inside Tim Hortons and go to the bathroom. She goes, like, where? And she's standing right in front of the Tim fucking Hortons. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. And I'm telling her, Grandma, look in front of you. Go to the bathroom. We'll be in there in a bit. We just have to deal with the dog. Again, she looks around like, where, where? Tim Hortons is like one foot in front of her. Literally. Right there. She still can't see it. She's not that blind. It's just her peripheral vision is all gone to shit. So my mom has to take her in there while I outside with the dog. He has to go pee and shit. Barking at every stranger that comes along because he's jealous. 
He's very protective, which is f cool and all, but it can be annoying. Like I said, I love my dog. <sighs> also, he barks like, because every time one leaves, he has to bark, like make a scandalous amount of barking because he thinks he's being left there. Poor guy. He's just afraid. He's just afraid. So when my mom and grandmother come back, I have to go. And as soon as I go, I hear him going nuts. Like, ah, ha, 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 ha. I go and do my thing. Come back. We go on our merry way. We wind up in Jasper. We pass the whole motel that we were supposed to see. It looks good from the outside. But we decide to go sightseeing anyway. Just go up the mountains because that's where we're there for. That turned out to be a bad idea because, like, the dog is all fucked up now. Because we've been doing so many pit stops, he doesn't know what he's going on anymore. Like, ah, ah, ah. He's, like, freaking out at half times. Like, barks a shitload of ton. So he's nervous as fuck. My grandmother, she's nervous as too because she's old school Chilean. She doesn't... Uh, we tell her, like, Grandma, stop worrying about the dog because you can sense you're worrying about him and he'll be fucked up like that too. You can tell my grandmother so many things and she still won't get it through her head. So we tell her one thing, she does, she ignores it, the complete thing, and she, she just ignores it all. So we're driving around still. Dog is still going nuts because we're making pit stops every left, every 10 minutes because it's Jasper. There's good sights to see. We go for a lunch break in this pond beach place. It's beautiful and shit. We're eating healthy shit like egg sandwich. I think, yeah, like homemade eggs with bread. Homemade Chilean bread because it's just, that shit is awesome. Homemade Chilean bread. Fruit and shit. My grandma just eating bread all day long. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, that was one thing that was annoying because, like, we try to make her eat something healthy, but no, she doesn't do it. Like, my grandma is like an eight-year-old child. It's come to that point. Because she does stuff, like, because she can barely walk. She's always with the stroller. Walker, the walker. So whenever we have to put stuff away, she goes straight into the car and just sits there and let us, us do the thing. Which is funny, but kind of annoying at the same time, like, because we got stuff to put in the car. And she just goes off on her merry way and just sits in there and waits for us. Like, she's the queen! <laughs> I love my grandmother. So anyway, we go off on our way. Grandma says, like, can we go back to the motel now? Because, like, Mick is going crazy. And my mom like, saying, like, come on, mom. We're here, be we're here for you. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's her birthday, too. It's like, so we took her for her birthday. That's one thing I should have mentioned in the beginning, but fuck it. But yeah, it's for your birthday. Come on, just enjoy the sight. Just enjoy the sight. No, I said annoy. Just enjoy the sight. Nope, she doesn't enjoy the sights because she's worried about Mick. She's Mick is the name of my dog. Let's just think. Let's call him Mick. She's worried about Mick being all scandalous. So it came to the point of where me and my mom just looked at each other, like, see, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to the motel. I right, we go. We, we just go back. We got to the motel, first thing we noticed, it's still being constructed, which is kind of weird. We go to the front desk, it's locked, the door, and we're like, what the fuck is going on here? And she already paid for this, was her visa. So we're looking around, and she goes like, go take Mick for a walk, because he's going crazy. I go, okay, so I go for a walk around the area, and then all of a sudden, it's, I don't know, we're to manage this, I don't, she's not the manager, she just works there. She just shows up at her door and is like, Hey, are you here to drop off the dog? I'm you know, I was like, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, are you dropping off the dog for J Jeremy? And first I'm thinking, like, who the fuck is Jeremy and why does he want a dog? I'd be like, no, we're here to stay for the three, for two days. She goes, oh, okay. So she opens up the door. She goes like, okay, let me show you the room. <laughs> the room. First of all, the room is fucking awesome to look at because it has two beds flat screen TV it looks all nice and shit because they just re just, just build it just outside looks like utter shit but the thing is they advertised two beds and a sofa bed which was awesome 
Because my grandmother would have taken a bed, my mom would have taken a bed, I would have taken a sofa bed. So we go in there, there's only two beds, and we're wondering what the fuck is going on. It's like, where's the sofa bed? She goes like, what sofa bed? It's like, you advertise the sofa bed. It's like, no, we didn't. So my mom is going back and forth with this person, like, you advertise a sofa, for sofa bed, blah, 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 blah. And then she goes like, oh, I'm sorry about that, blah, 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 blah. Then we're looking around. The kitchen, the kitchen sink is missing. Yes, you heard that right. The kitchen sink is missing. What? So we're looking at that, it's like, yo, dude, your kitchen sink is missing. She goes like, oh yeah, we haven't built it in yet. It's like, blah, blah, blah. But we have another room here where there is a kitchen sink, but there's only one bed. Ugh. She goes like, she gives us an option, like, oh, I can give you the other thing for a price, like, not for a price, but, like, see if I imagine can give you, like, a discount on our room, because, like, there's only two beds here, one bed over here, and a kitchen sink on the other side, so we can use share with each other, blah, 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 like a kitchen sink. But I got to talk that with my manager, and she goes, like, okay, you can do that, but my mom said, like, what about the bathroom, and let's, I got to see the bathroom, because my grandmother has, like, okay, the bathroom, the, the bathtub is, like, what is called the bathtub thing and the bottom, like the barrier right there. My grandmother cannot lift her leg up because she has problems with her leg. So it has to be like a little thing, like at the shower or something. Not like a complete bathtub. Open door shower is what I'm trying to say. So she doesn't have to lift her leg up because that's what they advertise. Because we said we were bringing a senior with us. No, this thing, you have to raise your leg all the way over there. So my grandmother can't go. Let, just to remind you, my grandmother's in the car this entire time. Just sitting there like a queen because she can't get out. Because her legs and shit. So then we go to the main office. We're like talking about like, this is like, we, this is not appropriate, blah, 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 blah. It's not like we can't stay here. And my mom's like, but they already charged my car. It's like, I'm kind of pissed off at that. She goes like, oh no, your car won't get charged because like, as long it's like, they do charge it, but they won't char take your money out until you're here and then you spend the day when we actually put you down as you're actually here, which is kind of good that way. But they will charge your car if you just book the room and don't show up. Because of course you don't show up, but you guys showed up, but you're not going to take the room, so they're not going to charge your car. It's like, oh, okay, so we wind up going back <laughs> to Edmonton, three hour drive, with the dog, yapping when we're doing pit stops here and there, and my grandmother, and my grandmother being all annoyed and shit, because you know, old people, but yeah, we go back to Edmonton like around eight at night, we drop my grandmother off to her place and I wind up going back to my parents' place. I crash on my own bed, fall asleep the next day, and that's basically it. Like I said, the road trip to nowhere. Anyways, have you guys ever had a road trip to nowhere that just went bad, didn't go planned as well? Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye.